top of my track. All right, right I'm there. filming. Whoa, I just saw a shooting star. Okay, so right here, looking at, uh, this is the meteor shower. Chris Sayed. What's it called? Chris Sayed meteor shower. Huh. There's something right there. What is that? Oh, that must be a lightning bug. <laughs> Boy, it's weird. Okay, where's, uh, where's Mr. Anthony at? I'm here, man. Auntie's gonna tell his Bigfoot story. Ooh. The night vision on this camera sucks. Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see two feet away with this thing. <laughs> well, uh, one night I went out to feed the dogs. Okay, you're in Florida in Trenton, right? Trenton, Gilchrist County. Gilchrist County. Which is also next to the Gilchrist Hunting Club, which is big uh, hunting club, swampy hunting club. How many years you been hunting? Uh, since I was five years old. And you're about how old now? I'm 31. Okay. Uh, so you're like one of us. You just, yeah. dad gave you a rifle and said, get the right. hell out of here. Yep, pretty much. Ever since uh, I ever started out riding on the back of the dog box, you know, dog hunting, deer hunting with dogs. We had 13 trucks and 20 head of dogs. You know. Oh, man. So some, you some of our swamp truck, you know, big trucks, they were so big they didn't need four-wheel drive. You know, they was two-wheel drive with a positive traction rear end, but it had 44 super swampers on them. With a Dana 411. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and... Uh, We'd make our own roads out there, but uh, the, the best place, you know, to uh, uh, good woods to, you know, do a lot of riding around at night and checking things out, you know, and seeing a lot of crazy stuff is Lock Moose area, uh, Cross Creek. There's a lot of, a lot of sign out there, you know, of different things, and uh, you got the lake, you know, and a lot of swamp. But it's a good place, to, you know, to hunt. You know, seen a lot of stuff out there. But uh, there's been some things, you know, around my house, you know, which out there in Trenton, you know, they've seen some things out there that people said they've seen and and uh, things like that. But and this is the Tony that I mentioned in one of my videos. <clears throat> How many people have seen black? Uh, delta triangular shape, shape, uh, uh, unidentified flying objects, crafts in the sky. This guy right here in front of me had him. He lives, uh, this is our property here. You're about what, 100 miles away? No, yeah, Gilchrist, at least 100, you know, it's pretty good ways away, at least 75 or 80, at least, you know. Yep, and, and here, our black triangular craft is your black triangular craft, and you guys were out camping one night. And I believe we had the experience, and then it came over to your house. Sure did. Your uh, house in the woods. And, it and you've only been here like, once or twice? It seems to like I've noticed, you know, uh, pine trees. A lot of pine trees. They hover over pine trees for some reason. Yeah. Yep, um, that's what ours went over the pine trees over here. Lenny and I, in 1998, best sighting ever. Three o'clock in the afternoon, okay. clear as day. Black triangular craft, blue light on one side, red light on the other, with panes of windows. We didn't see anybody looking out the windows, but it was like a two-story panes of windows, completely silent. And it wasn't more than 150 feet away from us, right over the top of the trees, right going parallel with our trail. My granddaddy seen the same thing years ago, and he's still alive. He was in World War II, and he's 96 years old right now, and he's still alive. He was shot in the back by a sniper. Mm -hmm. Um, when he was younger, probably in his, I guess, forties, thirties or forties, you know, um, he seen a, at nighttime it was getting dark. It was still kind of daylight in the sky, but you know, getting dark, you know, it was twilight outside they call it, I guess, but he seen a, I guess he said a, a UFO, he called it a UFO, but he seen it flying by 
real close to him and it was going so slow he said he could actually see in the windows of this thing wow which the ones you know that a lot of people see they don't see the windows they just see a shape of it or lights you yep. know or so what happened with uh you had a bigfoot encounter oh yeah uh a real live one did you actually see it yeah well i putting things together you know it it couldn't have been nothing else well you know i mean uh if you saw a bigfoot you saw a bigfoot the way it run off you know and how tall it was and how close it was that i could make out what it was you know it it actually scared me more than anything you know um wow look that was a big one epic that was one of the best ones I ever seen. Yeah. We all just missed a shooting star. Everybody else saw it. Uh, so what were you doing? What time of day was this? This was probably uh, 10:30 at night, I guess. Maybe you know, almost 11. And I walked outside to feed the dogs. And you live out in the woods. I've been to your house. You, you. We had a panther come right up. We we're camping on your property. Had a panther come right up to the tent and just yeah made a. a organ stunning growl it used to be so wild out there that i wouldn't walk in the woods without a sidearm on me you know because mm -hmm. of all kinds of things that i've yeah. seen and we had wild cows sticking his face in a tent <laughs> <laughs> eating glow sticks Crazy so 10 30 at night yeah, anyway, yeah the cows are eating glow <laughs> sticks his mouth is all glowing uh, forgot about that about 10 40 at night i walked outside <laughs> to feed the dogs uh, the back porch light was on, and it was kind of dim, you know, just a regular. It wasn't a bright light, but it was a regular light. And I could see lit up in the backyard kind of, you know, a little bit. And, but it was shining, you know, how something, uh, when it's looking toward the light, the eyes will shine. Yeah. So I was walking toward the house. How far apart were the eyes? Uh, Speculating. Maybe four inches. Make a little place to lay down. Um, How big were they? They was pretty big, the size of quarters, probably. What color? They was whitish, uh, yellowish, t uh, pale eggshell color, you know, like a. Yeah. But it was bright. They was lit up from shining. Was it light. yellow in it? It wasn't really yellow, yellow. It was more whitish than yeah. yellow. Just okay. a tiny bit of yellow color to it. Um, and it had to have been, because the fence is four foot tall, so it had to have been at least, his head was over the bob wire fence, so it had to have been five foot tall, is what I'm thinking. So you're a little teenage one. Yeah, and, um, but I, I was walking in the house to go get the dog food, and I just happened to look back, you know, and I seen the eyes glowing, looking at me. So I walked toward it to see what it was, and it just stood there and stood there and stood there, and. And then it just freaked me out the way it was, you know, so I kind of threw a stick just to see what it would do. <laughs> and um, it took off running. And when it took off running, you didn't hear four legs running, you know, and, and everything. Um, it sounded like somebody running off. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. And I could see the outline you know, of it running off. I couldn't actually see what it was, but you could see and tell by the way it was running and, and everything that it that's what it was. Biped? Know? Yeah, and, and just... What was its foot? Is, it uh, wasn't fast either. What does its footfall feel like? You felt, felt the ground shake? Or? No, it wasn't that big, no. Uh, it was real light. He was small. Um, I went out there the next day looking for tracks. And I actually found there was leaves on the ground, so I couldn't tell the tracks good, but I could make out the toes. It was funny looking toes. One toe kind of kicked to the side. Um, and it was like a size. Uh, maybe, Which side, to the left, or inward, or outward? I don't remember. Um, I don't How many remember. toes? It seemed like it was five, but it seemed like the pinky kicked off or either this one did. 
but I don't remember. One of them kicked off to the side, and the other yeah. ones was kind of just short and stubby. They was real short and stubby toes. They wasn't long like ours. It was just short. Any chance you saw a rhesus monkey? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, ch escape chimpanzee. That might have been. Because there's yeah. no such thing as Bigfoot. Well, it might have come from <laughs> that movie they filmed Tarzan and, you know, yeah. Silver Springs or something. They did it at the end of my street. Right there in my studio, they used to have monkeys out there. Well, the Actually, uh, Cheetah was my was one of my customers. Uh, just died. Lived to be 80 years old. Wow. But the two stunt doubles are still alive. That's how good my product is. I mean, you can make a chimp last 80 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. In fact, uh -huh. uh, she blessed me with a handful of diarrhea. What was it? Yeah, they was real they short, like short toes. It was a size, it wasn't a big foot neither. It was a size, uh, uh, well, you know how long a McDonald's cup is. His toes are that long? No, his feet total uh, was almost as long as his, you know, McDonald's foot. So, so it's long as you, for a, five foot a little longer than your hand, you know, stretched out. Yep. But did you see both tracks left and right? Yeah, I tried to make them out, but I only found a few tracks. And then when it got in the sand, you know how sand just falls back into yeah. the pile after you yeah. step in it. So it's hard to make it out what it was. Hmm. But the, the, the ones I found in the leaves and the dirt, I could make out the toes. Yeah. And how long it was because there was sand on top of the leaves. What do you, what do you uh, speculate on the, on the weight? Hundred and fifty pounds, probably about my size. Okay. You know, so teenager. not as tall, but yeah, hundred and, hundred and thirty pounds, maybe. Did it make any sounds? No, just nothing. How long was the encounter for? That you stood there and made eye, made eye contact with it. Uh. I stood there probably a couple minutes, you know, trying to make out what it was, and it just stood there and looking at me. So you're pretty experienced with hogs and deer and all that. A deer's not going to stand there and look at you with a porch light. Yeah. You didn't have a flashlight, right? You didn't have a flashlight. And not only that, but on the other side of the fence, it's from where the cows walk up and down, you know. There's yep, a trench another spot. There. Yep. So it's a little deeper on the other side. So if a deer was standing over there, he wouldn't be as tall as that fence. This was taller... Uh, his head stuck above the fence. So he, so he was taller than five foot. He down. was five, a little over five foot, around five foot, no less though. So he could have been six, seven foot. No, he wasn't that tall. He was five, five and a half. Hmm. I'm five foot two, and when that, when I stood, remember yeah, five two, way? yeah. His eye level was right where mine was. Yeah, five two. That's his wife talking. Did you see it too? Yeah. Oh, you saw it too. Yeah, I don't want to do yeah she. You don't want to be on film? <laughs> Why not? You could be famous on my channel. I have one million subscribers. Oh wait, you got to move the decimal point over. Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> That's because the government's squelching my channel because of the content. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what did you see, Angela? Shout out a little bit louder so we can yeah, hear you. I, uh, I seen them before he did. I seen the glowing eyes before he did. Oh, the glowing eyes. Were yeah. they glowing without the light on them? Yeah, kind of, yeah, and that's not the only time I've had that experience. Oh, wait a minute. Come here, Tony. Let's walk over here and hear this. Um, Come on over here. You don't got to get down. Okay. I won't put the camera okay. on you. We'll put it back and keep it on Tony. Well, um... Okay, uh... Let's talk loud. Let's hear your story. Uh, the eyes were glowing without lights yes. on them. I mean, the light from the porch was um, on, but as bright. I mean, as where the light was located and as bright as the eyes were glowing, it just it wasn't like it was shining from like, the sunlight or from the from the porch line. It was causing them to glow yeah. like that. But know? see, remember the night one night Anthony and I had gotten into an altercation. And right. he was headed out to the store, and I, I went walking off on our five acres, not thinking. So that was your first encounter when you guys had a little spat? No, that was, this was our, my second. 
And um, he was heading down the driveway. Do you think the spat caused the encounter? He might have been being nosy. Oh, well, yeah. I've had, I've had a couple of times where being nosy. Well, this, raising your voice gets him yeah. well, interested. Well, this, this second time, um, he got in his truck and he was headed to the store, and I was still sitting on the picnic tables out by our garden. Mm -hmm. And I called him. I had my phone on me, and I called him cr freaking out, crying. I remember because, that Because, yeah, story. there was... Um, several sets of glowing eyes coming at me in the woods. Oh, several sets several coming sets. at you. Do you okay, remember that now the, the plot you? thickens now. Hmm. Several sets. Okay, well that kind of like looks like they knew you was by yourself. They looked like and they knew I was by nothing. myself. Are you guys hearing this story? This is yes. more uh, Bigfoot tormenting the woman by herself. Uh, and um, problem. they would they would you know be real close, and then you would see one further off. And then Anthony, he had his huge four-wheel drive, and when he came revving his engine because he came as fast as he could. Because you called him and told him, and he came him, back. Yeah, and okay. he came, yeah. you know, as fast as he could. That's what me and Vince, so we come back and rescue the girls all the time because <laughs> the Bigfoot's harassing them as soon as we leave. Oh, yeah, and uh, it was like when they heard his truck, <coughs> completely disappeared. Uh, but, so they weren't afraid of you. So that was a wild animal or a deer or owls or something. They don't give a crap who it is. They don't, they're afraid of humans. They don't care if anything's right. come back. Yeah, they It definitely, I mean, and the, the eyes were pretty big. And What color were the eyes to you? They were the same pale, not yellow, it, like the cream, like a cream right. off-white color. Kind of, I don't yeah, even know how to. Off-white, you know, color is what it, you know. Off-white, yeah. Um, and I've seen some real pictures, some real, real pictures, and, and that's the color of the ones in those pictures, too. So now uh, that I've taken what I've seen in those pictures okay. and, and take what I've seen personally, you know, I kind of figured, you know, Maybe you could forward me, you think you could forward me some pictures? Maybe I'll put them on the video. I could probably find the ones yeah. that I've seen. You that's know? what I do. I find things that are, you know, without, you don't have to go to Photoshop. There's so many examples on Google. Yeah. You get right on it. There's one real photo that I found one time that uh, it, it towering above the palmetto bushes like that. Just there's no other way it could have been anything else. You Are know? you talking about the one that's in Mayacus, Florida? The one that was mailed to the police department anonymously? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't. I think that's a real creature there. I do too. It looks. It looks like somebody was walking through the yep. woods at night and oh. walked up on it and it startled them. Yeah. Or oh, it's an old. I think it's. I think. I'm not know where I got this from, but I think it's an old lady with a house with a garden, and she didn't have a. She didn't have a flashlight. She used her camera, and when she flashed, uh, <laughs> that's when she saw it. But or she saw it when she got in there, but she couldn't illuminate with a flashlight because she was out in her backyard. Out because she lived, Mayak is uh, you know, one of the Bigfoot hotspots, and she butts her place butts up to the place. So I think I think the photos are legitimate. Nobody's gonna go through all that trouble and not take credit for it. Yeah. After all these years. Right. And they're legitimate looking. Uh, so those are the eyes. Everybody knows about those pictures. So you probably don't have to send me nothing. They look creamy white. Creamy uh, white mm -hmm. color. You know, um, a pale creamy white color until a light hits them real bright, you know. Once no. the light hits them real bright, then sometimes they don't shine at all, or sometimes if it hits them just right, they'll they'll shine a lot, you know. Approximately how long ago this was? This is about five years ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, this was years ago. Yeah. And uh, so the lights, were the eyes, were they shining at all without the light hitting them? Yep. They, they were uh, glowing. Yeah, because I was out. Okay, well, that leaves out any wild animals. Yeah, I was out in the field, and uh, I just happened to turn over and look, and I saw them, and there's no light out there. We have no electricity out there whatsoever. So you saw eyes out there in the field. By, uh, you'd speculate it's biped, the way they're walking, the way they looked. Right. And they were walking up to the house. And they were very, very tall. Very, they, very yeah, tall. Yeah, they were definitely not near... Um, I mean, some were at different heights, but most of the ones that I saw were tall. From five to six, maybe seven maybe foot. Maybe seven foot. Mean? Oh, okay. Well, I think everybody's pretty much agreeing right now. You got a family of squatches out there. The ones that I've heard around there, uh, the last one I've heard that was seen years and years ago, probably 30 years ago in a pea patch. Yeah, they love them 
patches with he the berries and the He was only about five and... foot tall, the one that was seen then, too. Yeah, they come in all sizes. Well, the night, too, that we heard it out there, um, out there hollering at that cow. Yeah. Probably because he had a glow stick in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You would hear, like, the cow, you could tell the cow was suffering. Like, it was screaming, and I've never heard a cow in my life oh, stop make that sound. And uh -huh. it was just screaming and screaming, and you heard, like, the thing was screaming back at it. And all of a sudden, you heard one big thud, and you never heard the cow scream again. Was the cow missing? Oh, they had multiple deaths over there. At the, it finally got to the point where they had to have tractors going around their property at night. No kidding. Because there went another one. Um, yeah. Because cows were ended up, ended up dying out there and being found dead. Oh. Uh -huh. So. What was my next question? Yeah, so everybody knows about the cows and the glow sticks. We camped out on their property one time in tents, and we threw some glow sticks out there. And uh, all of a sudden, we see these mouths, these heads yeah, sticking in our tent. A long time. We thought they were dogmen with big glowing mouths. They're chewing up the glow sticks, so their mouth is all filled with. Yeah, they're filled with the uh, glow stick filling. Yeah, glow in the dark stuff. So that was pretty weird to see a head stick inside your tent with a big glowing mouth. So we both scream like girls. Bonnie screamed like girl. I took my Glock out and put it against his head. <laughs> then I realized what it was. Yes, that's it. So you had another encounter. Um, in the cooler. What was your second encounter? Well, that was my first one was the one by the fence where we found the footprints. The second one was the um, when I saw him by myself. We both saw. And then mostly, other than that, it's been you can hear him out there, the whooping. We haven't oh, yeah. heard in a Whoops. long time, but... You want to make the sound for us since you're not on video? He's better than I am. Well, go ahead and give it a, give it a whirl. <laughs> Everybody um, wants to hear your interpretation oh, of it. Put me on the spot. Just um, regress back to the moment and <laughs> let it rip. Put yourself um, in there. Like... Oops. Whoop! Whoop! I don't know. <laughs> that was terrible. So, Tony. What you what's this whooping? A cougar or a, a coyote or a, what you want, eagle? He said, I can do it all. Okay, well, what was the sound that the uh, pers the uh, perspective Bigfoots were making? No, he can do all kinds of things. It was strange, though. Uh, it's hard to describe. It really is. It's hard to it's hard to describe the sound. You know, it's. Uh, let me see if I can do it for you. Let me think back to some whoops that I'm pretty sure were not. Whoop, whoop, like that. Yeah, and except it just you know would echo through the pines, yeah. you know, and you know it's not an owl when you hear it. You know it's not an owl because I mean an owl's got that sound, you know that they make some weird noises, you know. But... Oh yeah, they mimic. I call them the mimics. They will mimic bird sounds and coyotes. I think coyotes are their hunting dogs. So you got anything else to add to your story? Um, it's too late to add to it once it goes up. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, other than the... So when's the last time you had an encounter with them? That's probably the next thing everybody's thinking. It's been it's been a while. Now that more people have moved out and the land's been cleared, yep. it's, it, it's been a long time. It's been at least, what, maybe for two and a half years, two years? Yeah, since we've heard anything. Hmm. Does that mean somebody else is dealing with them now? Yeah. Well, it's what happened is they built a big, they cut down a lot of the pines and built a big dairy farm, and now it's open. Oh, wonderful. So now I'm thinking they've moved on to the swampier Gilchrist hunting club area side where all the lakes and ponds and swamps oh, sure. are. That's probably where they were. Hang on, anyways, they probably was coming over to your place they to get coming from snag a cow and every now and then. Yeah. And, uh,. You know. Making sure you're treating your woman okay. Yeah. Checking up on you. <laughs> Making sure everything's good. Eating in the garden. Eating in the garden. Eating the garden. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You guys had a big garden, didn't you? Yeah, I remember that. You guys got any any trail cameras, uh, game cameras? Yeah, I put some out. I, and no I, luck. 
Yeah, no luck yet, but I'm planning on going. You won't have any luck with them. I, I got 90,000 pictures. I used to make them back in the early 90s, and they show up. They show up as a light prism, a light anomaly on them. You'll get those, lots of those. You put three cameras out, you'll get evidence every time you do it. I got three uh, series of cloaking Sasquatch, and I did three experiments with the three cameras. With information I got from the spirit world, from Veronica, she said, everything you could ever do has already been done billions and billions of years ago by other civilizations, other humans. It's all been done. I said, that's where I'm getting the information from. So use three trail cameras and you'll get your evidence you're looking for. Huh. So I did it, and the first time I did it, I used to use, sometimes I use two of them. I don't know, something made me just put two cameras on one oh, bag of apples. Yeah, I get, I need to get these light anomalies, but I used to throw the pictures away. I use two, but I need to go to three probably. You go to three, you'll get evidence, and you, you see my clucking Sasquatch video, right? Yeah. Uh, been a while probably. It's been out for years. Yeah, a couple of years. Yep. But I've, I've got probably 90,000 pictures over the years. Even back when we used to develop, wow. I get 36 exposures. Wow. And I used to get, with one camera, I would get a night, a light, a, a night, a light anomaly. <clears throat> and what it is, it's a, it's a light prism that Veronica, uh, the spirit guide says that they are. That's the way they show their signature when they come through. But she said, if you use three cameras long enough, he can't defeat all three cameras. You will get your physical evidence, meaning a picture of one, not a light signature but they are so supposedly they're dimensional they come in from the seventh dimension and humans we are either all the way from the third to the sixth dimension so those of us who have experiences all the time are in a higher density dimension because the veil is thinner there's less <clears throat> there's less energetics between there's less of a dimension between the two that's why somebody can go hunting for 80 years and never have one damn experience and we can go out here the four of us come out here, we have experiences three times a night when we come out here. So, you guys are the same way, and I think it's the Orions, that black triangular craft come over your house. Yeah. They got high technology, you know, they'll they come do. over here, they'll waken us, and then they'll say, hey, you know, let's go include Angela and uh, Tony. Yeah. And... Eric, it's time to look up. Yep, I'm done filming. Any guys got anything else to add? Look up. What? What's going on? Lots of unusual activity.